have been fortunate enough to get this book from the publisher. It's an arc of uh, Solstrippen, or The Silver Throat, which is the second book in the Vardari series by Siri Petersen. I have been waiting for this for a while. I absolutely love the first book in the series and I'm really looking forward to reading this. This video will be my reading vlog and review for this book. Friday and I thought I would do a little update. I haven't read as much as I had hoped to and I'm sorry for the noise but uh, where I am is pretty much like a parking lot or I'm not in the parking lot but I'm close to a huge parking lot at the hospital. But what I was going to say was that I haven't read as much as I had hoped this week because I've been struggling with migraines and that's life sometimes. I'm currently at the hospital, not related to my migraine, but it's related to my age. <laughs> so I'm going to a checkup, which is just like a regular checkup thing. So I don't have a lot of battery left on my camera. So I'm going to go there and sit down, and I'm super early as I usually am, so I'm going to go there and sit down and read my book. It's Saturday and I'm on my way to work, but I thought I would just say a little bit about yesterday. I didn't get to read as much as I thought I would because when I arrived at the hospital and I went, sat down, got my book out, and then they were like, oh, you can come in. I thought I had like an hour to wait, like over an hour to wait, and instead I was done an hour before I was supposed to have my appointment. So that was done really quickly and then I had to wait for the bus. The communication from the hospital to Fredrikstad is not great so I had to wait and if it wasn't for the fact that it was pouring down, it was raining so I couldn't really sit down and read at the bus stop either. So I didn't get to read as much as I wanted to. I've done a little bit of reading this morning. Loving the book so far. I'll hopefully manage to read some more today and tomorrow as well. It is Tuesday the 3rd of October and it's just a couple of days until Silver Throat <laughs> will be released. I have managed to read quite a bit today. I am now going to read page 310 
and so far I am really really loving this book. So today I went to Oslo for a short trip. It was nice to be there. I did I didn't have much time there but really nice. I'm going back in about a week, a little bit over a week before that I'm going to Dublin. had originally planned to go to the city center and sit down with a cup of coffee and read what I didn't know or I knew but I didn't remember that it's the autumn break here for school so it was super busy and I just realized that I I don't want to sit among all these people and maybe not have a room or a table to sit and read so I decided that rather than sitting there where it was super busy I would go home and sit outside and read because it's a lovely day absolutely gorgeous I don't know how many degrees it is but it's not very cold so I was thinking that it might be like the last day I can actually sit outside and read so that's what I'm going to do I have made myself a cup of coffee. I have a couple of chocolate chip cookies that are vegan. Uh, they're store-bought because I don't have brown sugar at the moment. I'll do more baking at some point, but right now they're store-bought. I have my book. finished Sølstruppen or The Silver Throat by C.D. Pettersen. It's the second book in a trilogy. Her first trilogy is called The Raven Rings and this book is it's not set in the same world exactly but it's kind of the same universe if that makes sense. So it's set in the same universe but not the same world as the first trilogy. And this is the second book in the Vardari trilogy. It's been a while since I read the first book but finally I got this and I absolutely loved it. It was ex exactly what I expected and maybe even more. I would just love to pick Siri's brain because it's so brilliant! It's so different from other fantasy books that I've read. In some ways it's inspired by vampires, but not exactly vampires either. It's also inspired by like the Norse world, like old Norse world, but it's not quite that either. So she's made her own world, but she uses her roots to build this world which I think is really, really good. Also, I just love the way she writes. Her sentences are just golden. There were like some sentences that just made my skin go all goosebumpy because it is so brilliant. So as you can understand, I'm very enthusiastic about this book and I absolutely loved it. I don't know how long it'll take for her to write the last book, but I'll have to wait for a good while, I guess, since this is being published tomorrow. So it's not even published yet. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I need the third book now. 
no. I can wait. I can wait. I think it's more important that she writes a well-written, brilliant book than that I get the ending, like, right now. But I'm looking forward to the third and last book in the trilogy whenever it will come out. I guess that's it for now. It's the 4th of October and tomorrow I head for Dublin. So I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye!